Hello team! In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the best methods on how to create a fire video. We'll cover the setup, the settings for both Zoom and Loom, the length of the video, and the best methods of delivery. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanted to make two quick notes that I forgot to mention in the original tutorial. So the first one is that when you're recording your video, it's good to just sit back as if you're having a conversation with someone. And the second note is to be mindful of your background. A cluttered background can be a little bit distracting to watch. And that's it for the notes. Let's continue with the tutorial. First, location. You need to find a quiet area with as little distractions as possible. That means no music, no outside conversations, and no heavy traffic. Next, light. Please do not record at night. Find some time during the day to record your video. Make sure that your location has some form of natural light coming in. I would suggest recording next to a window. I have one open right in front of me. And try your best to avoid overhead lights. They're not flattering on your face. After you have all of those covered, now you need to choose the device that you're going to be using to record your videos. I am currently using my phone to record. You can use a camera or an external webcam if you have one. All of those are great alternatives to just using your built-in camera, which does not really offer the best quality to record your videos. It is typically a good choice to record your videos at eye level, unless you uh, intentionally want to practice with different angles for different kind of effects. Now let's talk about whether you're going to be recording horizontally or vertically. So that will depend on the platform that you're choosing. Some social media platforms like TikTok or Instagram Reels were designed to be viewed in a vertical way. So when choosing those platforms, you will need to record your video vertically as well, like this. And in other platforms like YouTube, it is more common to see videos in a horizontal ratio like this. So choosing the platform is something that you should keep in mind before you start recording your video. Now let's talk about the best settings for both Zoom and Loom. All right, so first let's talk about the Zoom settings. You will find those in the home screen in the upper right corner and let's click on settings. We're going to focus on video and audio. So let's get started with video first. All right, so for this, you have to make sure that you have the right camera selected if you have multiple ones. So you will find that under camera, you click on this arrow and then you'll select it from the options that are here. You have to make sure that the HD box is checked. Then let's go to my video. You have the option to adjust for low light. I usually uh, have that on auto, but if you want to change it manually, you can choose that option and you can make it brighter or darker, depending on your liking. I will leave it in auto. So those are the settings for um, the video on Zoom. And now let's move on to the audio. If you ever have a problem not hearing your audio, it's probably because you don't have the right speaker selected. So we have to make sure that we uh, check that from these options. And to check that you're using the right microphone, you also have to, you have to check it in the options that are here. So I have mine selected and I would suggest naming your mic so that it's easier to find in the future. And the last thing here is suppress background noise. I have mine in low. I don't really have a lot of background noises, but you can change that depending on your location. So there you have it. Those are the settings for Zoom. All right, so let's move on to Loom. So the same kind of rules apply here, though in Loom it's a little bit easier because the setting options are located right on the screen. So same thing, make sure that your microphone is selected, make sure that you're using the right camera, and then you're ready to start recording on Loom. So there you have it. Now let's talk about length. So the length of your video is going to depend on the social media platform that you're going to be choosing. For example, videos for TikTok should preferably be no more than one minute long. So those have to be pretty short. For other platforms such as YouTube or LinkedIn, they can be a little bit longer. So once you have all of your videos recorded, you can send them to me through Slack 
or if you prefer through email. I really, really hope this was helpful and I can't wait to start editing your videos.